I'm quite happy to be back. I miss publishing the episode, so it's time to be back. I hope everything is on microphone, camera. Let's get started. I've been asked to answer the following questions. What is your story? How did you get to where you are today? How have you changed for the better? I built my life by making changes because I believe that every change we make is a unique piece of experience and contributes to our personal and professional progress. I take the risk of making changes all the time and I think it's about courage. It's not always easy as sometimes it's like an experiment. We don't know what change we need to make to make things better and some of the time the struggle is so big that we avoid making changes and we persist in the most unlikely situation. However, I believe that if we have clarity on what we want and what we want to change, if we can see things in the right perspective, we might know what is the action to take to make the right choice and the right decision. So I believe that I made it because I make changes and uh, I see that opportunities are around the corner. But there was a time when I was stuck, doing things as per routine. My motivation was quite low. I was in a stagnant situation, doing nothing to get out of it. And things started to become worse. At one point, someone else thought that For me, it was a time to change. I got some feedback of my performance. Some of the points my colleagues made were struggles to communicate her messages and isn't clear about the point she's trying to get across, but she's confident when she does speak. Not enough experience to get answered quickly, but good quality presentations. I was a little bit upset and above all, I was really, really embarrassed. Embarrassed about what my colleagues thought of me. But they were right. The feedback was actually a wake-up call and at this point, I had to do something. I say they were right. However, it wasn't me and it wasn't the person I wanted to be. In some ways, they were inspiring to. They used but at the end of the sentences. But she's confident when she does speak. And but good quality presentations. My belief is, if we don't always feel to be the person or the people see in us, if people get this completely wrong, it may be our communication problem. For me, it was a time to work on my personal skills. The first thing I wanted to do, it was to improve my communication skills and explore new ways to communicate more effectively. I started writing a book about the importance of changes. I launched a podcast where I talk about creativity and how to be creative in life. I use sketches, images to present topics. I use spoken word, written text and images to communicate more effectively. I believe that through visual impact and storytelling, better collaboration can be achieved and promoted. 
And of course, I got a new job with a new role where my contribution is appreciated. When I left the old team, they told me that I'm a person with capacity to look beyond the obvious to find positive result. This reinforced my belief that mistakes we make help to grow. We can learn from our mistakes. Then we can be more prepared to cope with new difficult situations. The process to find new solutions is part of a creative process. For me, creativity is a way to think. It's about thinking in different ways and see things from a different point of view. This creative process is when creativity is an attitude for thinking outside the box to find proposals and help decision making. Anyone can think in a creative or alternative way. Creativity is about positive thinking. Creativity is when we are able to remove the blocks that stop us to progress because it's about exploring new way of thinking. Thinking in a different way means be free to generate new ideas and find solutions for problems. To summarize, if we need to define a new path to express our creativity and our potential, we need to be start thinking in a different way and see things from different point of views. We need to get the clarity on what we want and be courageous. This is the first step. Sometimes it's hard to make changes, but there are very little steps we can take to change little things, and little things will change big things. Thank you for listening to this conversation. I want to invite you to get in touch and share your comment and thought about creativity. To get in touch, please see my contact details in the episode description. Thank you and see you in the next episode.